Now we're headed over to Southwest Way Park, so that way you can see the golf course over there, Winding River Golf Course. It's on the southwest side once again, just right down Man Road. What is there to do around Indianapolis? Do you like golf? Well, let's talk about it. All right, the exact number of golf courses in the Indianapolis metropolitan area is unknown, but resources estimate there's approximately 79 courses within 20 mile radius of the metropolitan Indianapolis. That includes public, private, and municipalities. Now, if you lived on the southwest side, you'd have 17 courses within 30 minute drive approximately. There's some no frills courses, just to name a few. Buffer, Thatcher, Coffin, Riverside, Winding River, Smock, Psalms, just to name a few of those courses. Now, one of the cheapest courses, you could go to Thatcher, which if you were to play nine holes there, you could get a cart, 22 bucks. Now, if you're a senior, it's around 20. Pretty darn cheap. Now, it isn't the best course around. It's a city course, ran by the Parks Department. It's a good, basic starter course. Now, towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you three different courses on the southwest side that are within 20 minutes of each other. That way, you could play nine on each one in one day. But first, let's talk about the metropolitan surrounding areas and how many courses are actually in those areas. Carmel City Limits, we have eight. Westfield, we have two. Brownsburg, one. I'm counting Eagle Creek. I'm counting that as one of their courses there, which isn't too far to the east of Brownsburg. Just a real quick drive down 56th Street. Plainfield has one. Indianapolis, 12. Speedway has one. You could actually consider two because of Thatcher is just south of the Speedway city limits or town limits. And you could actually count that. But the one at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, that's a big one. All right. Oh, forgot to mention, there's four holes of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway golf course that are inside the track. There's a tunnel that goes right underneath the track on the back straight. That way you can play four holes on the inside. Now, the most affordable is Thatcher, where the most expensive is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It is $210 to play there. Now, around the $500, it's two, it goes up to $250. So, always want to call ahead of time reserve that, get your tea time in, and find out how much it's going to cost. If there's parties, I believe it's 80, 85 or more, you get a break. I think it's down to 175 on that. Now let's go, like I said, on the southwest side, there's around 17 different courses here that within 30 minutes you can get to. Now I'm going to show you three within 20 minutes of each other, so that way you could play at three different ones and get nine in on each one and call it a day. Those three courses are going to be Southern Dunes, Winding River, and the Lynx at Heartland Crossing. One of the nicest clubhouses I prefer is over here in Southern Dunes. This is, I mean, it actually looks like a championship golf course clubhouse. Here's the front side of the clubhouse down here at Southern Dunes. As you can see, it just looks like a very large, very private golf course community it goes you can see houses back in there it goes way back in there standing here standing here on one of the putting greens here and you can see it's way out there but there's some people there's some golfers out on the course here's a driving range over here and I want to show you this clubhouse here this thing is it's not your typical small clubhouse this is huge it's a nice clubhouse here so definitely come check this one out it's well worth checking out and golfing on now we're headed over to southwest way park so that way you can see the golf course over there winding river golf course it's on the southwest side once again just right down man road easy to get to but it is if this if southern dues is a best kept secret then it has to be winding river that's another best kept secret that not many know about, but it's a great course to go check out. All right, now we're down here at Winding River. We're just 1.8 miles, just under two miles from Southern Dunes, where I just showed you. Down here at Winding River, off of Man Road, south of, south of Southport Road, here on the southwest side of Indianapolis. And this has to be 
one of the most peaceful courses that I'm going to show you today. As you can already see, we have a few out there on some carts. Very peaceful out here. It actually runs. We got a golfer out there walking, another one on carts. Quite a few cars here, as you can see. Now, the clubhouse here isn't that impressive, but it, it gets the job done. This course runs along Man Road right in between Southwest Way Park. So it's very, very quiet out here. Only kind of traffic you have is local traffic going from down in the Mooresville, Martinsville area. They'll use Man Road all the way up into Indianapolis to catch 465, if not go downtown Indianapolis. This is a great course, very quiet, very peaceful. Now we're just 12 minutes from Winding River and a total of about uh, 15 minutes from Southern Dunes. We are out here at the Lynx at Heartland Crossing. The Lynx at Heartland Crossing is 18 holes out here. It is probably the furthest from Indianapolis here on the southwest side and it is one of the three where you could do nine holes each day or on each course and get what 19 20 27 rounds in on three different courses because they're only 15 minutes apart total 18 holes out here very impressive as you can see there's homes way back here lined along the course but i'm going to flip around here and show you there's homes right across the street as well you can see more homes sitting over here they're constantly building around here. If you want a home close to a golf course, this is probably your best bet out here along with Southern Dunes, where the course winds through the community just like it's how Southern Dunes, great area. This is part of the course as well. Like I said, right across the street from home communities, if you wanna be in a golf course community, this along with Southern Dunes probably has some of the lower priced homes where you could get into relatively inexpensive. So those are the three courses there. You got a glimpse of what those are like. The really nice courses, the Southern Dunes ones has a great clubhouse there. Winding River, pretty small clubhouse, but it's big, and it runs along Man Road, where the Lynx, also you can go check that out. It's stuck in the community of Heartland Crossing. If you want to live there, you could be walk right across the street and go golfing. Pretty cool area there. So now you got a great idea of the golf courses around the Indianapolis area. Now I want to mention two others. I don't know if you call these really golf courses or not, but... There's the Top Golf that's up in Fishers and Back Nine that is very similar to the Top Golf. It's down just south of the Indianapolis city limits over by Lilly. If you know where that's at, their technology center, it's over there right off of Morris Street. So very easy to get to if you're downtown and you're coming in here to visit. And instead of driving all the way up into Fishers to go play their Top Golf, go check out back nine so there you go guys if you're thinking about coming to this area or moving to this area or whatever there's some golf courses for you if you'd like to get more information about indianapolis and what it's like feel free to subscribe check out the different links i have down here in the description if you want to get more information on possibly moving here within the nine days or 90 days uh, feel free to reach out to me my contact information is down below be glad to help you out if you're not represented by a buyer, if you have any questions on this area, the different metropolitan areas, what they're like, I'll be glad to help you out. 
and help you make that smooth move transition over to the metropolitan Indianapolis area. Look forward to talking with you. Feel free to give me a call. And if you're in this area and you've played at any of the courses I've mentioned, feel free to leave me a comment down there. Let me know what you think of the different courses. If you've played them, if they're worth playing, just go ahead and give me some feedback. All right, guys, we'll talk later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.